embrace the hug embrace it all embrace the hug I hi guys welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a returning subscriber my name is Shanice and I usually post cash stuff in videos but today we're gonna do a little bit of a different video we're not gonna be doing a cash stuff in video this time we're gonna be doing a video about my goals and aspirations for 2023 it's so crazy saying 2023 because I feel like 2022 literally just started. So, yeah. Um, if you see me looking down, it's because I have the list on my phone right here. So, I'm going to be going based off of that. And, of course, for this video, I have the queen right here with me. Let me get her. Oh, she literally just got a haircut. So, she looks a little crazy. But, we have a Luna. Yeah, she, <laughs> she looks like a crackhead, but she's my crackhead, so it's okay. So, yeah, I thought this video would be so cool to do because I can just, like, do it. And then, like, at the end of 2023, I can just, like, reflect on the goals that I set and the ones that I met. And we can just, like, do comparisons. And, yeah, I want to document my journey. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start with the goals that I have for me career wise um I mean money wise so the first one would be to save six thousand dollars um I really want to start increasing how much money I save and I don't know I realized that it wasn't possible for me to have all the money I needed to save for a house by the end of 2023 so I extended myself to my birthday of 2024 which is may 7th and by that time i should have enough to definitely move out so i just want to be realistic and i don't want to like feel like i'm rushing myself to save money or something like that so yeah i gave myself all of 2023 to have six thousand dollars saved up so as far as money goals i think that's really it i want to save more than i spend of course because Saving is always the right thing to do for me personally. That's how I feel. So next, I'm just going to move on to the goals that I have for myself career-wise as far as like YouTube businesses or whatever. So first, I want to reach 100K on YouTube. Um, I set the bar pretty low. I feel like I can definitely reach 100K on YouTube because our channel is continuously growing. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you give me on all of my videos. Um, I can't thank you enough because it really means the world to me. And I love when people comment on my videos and I comment back. Like, I really feel like y'all are my family. So, yeah. Um, I want to have 1K on YouTube for sure um i definitely think i'm gonna meet that goal like i set pretty i try to set super realistic goals for myself like i don't set goals for myself as far as like i want to go to the gym every day because i know honestly that's not gonna happen like i hate the gym so i definitely know i'm not gonna go every day maybe once a month but definitely not every day so i like to set definitely realistic goals for myself so yeah um next i have I want to reach 5k on TikTok. Right now I'm at 3k so I think it's very possible for me to reach 5k. I just need to start posting again. Um, I took a break from TikTok because I don't know I just got discouraged so I stopped posting on TikTok which was honestly a mistake and I feel bad so I'm definitely going to start posting on there more if you want to give me a follow I'll have it linked down in the description. So, I definitely want to do that. I think I want to change my niche. I think what it was is my niche on TikTok is changing. And I don't think my followers are, like, liking that. Because I hate that I started my TikTok off with, like, such... So much shopping. Like, it was con it was consistently shopping, hauls, um, wish lists for stores, like... Me. just stuff like that and i know that's not what i want to do anymore i want to do more like 
lifestyle more minimalistic uh shopping but like shopping on a budget like because your girl is trying to save money i cannot afford to go shopping literally every day and that's what i used to do i used to literally go shopping every day so i could have a video for tiktok so i might just start a new tiktok i'm not sure if anybody has any tips on like changing your niche or whatever then please let me know because i don't want to lose the followers i have because i love them but i don't want to like disappoint them by switching up my niche so yeah that that's why i stopped posted on posting on tiktok so yeah um next i want to have my first paid collaboration um i've had if you follow me on tiktok and if you looked at my past videos i have had gifted collabs before but i have not had an actual paid collab and if you look on there i did do a collab with the down low which i love working with them so much but i accidentally put paid collab on there and it wasn't paid and it won't let me take it off so yeah yeah <laughs> So, I have that one, and I also did a gifted collab with this brand for a tongue scraper. And, yeah, uh, I definitely want to do more. I don't mind doing gifted collabs, but honestly, my goal is to have a um, paid collab. So, I definitely think that would work. That could happen as long as I keep working on my content and staying consistent of course consistency is key so i do see that happening so we'll see next is as far as business goals i have for myself um i have not shared this with you guys yet because it literally just happened like last week but i officially am an etsy seller whoop 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 <laughs> I have a shop on Etsy. I will leave it linked down below. Um, I only have one listing right now, but it is selling selling crochet beanies. Um, I'm so obsessed with crocheting. Like I started crocheting again. I used to crochet all the time, but I stopped. So I recently started back crocheting. So I started a business out of it, and I love it, and I'm so excited. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna um. At the end of this video, I'll run in the house right quick and get some, uh, get a beanie and some of the stuff that I've made so far, and I'll show you guys. So yeah, my goal for my business this for 2023 is to at least get 50 sales on Etsy. I know that's possible. Um, I'm gonna start working on promoting my business, posting on my business page. I need to make a business TikTok so I can post on there and i've ran a business before i used to have an etsy t-shirt business and i i think it was pretty it was a pretty good store i think i opened it in i want to say maybe october 2020 and by december 2020 i had like 200 orders so i think i did pretty good i shut it down because it literally just got too much for me and i like I didn't I was losing my passion for making shirts and also like I wasn't ready for like running a business and also having a full-time job it was like too much for me so but yeah um, I'm ready for it now I think I'm at a consistent place at my job to where I can do it so I want to reach 50 sales on Etsy second and I mean the next one is I want to start a second business preferable perf preferably 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 a business where i don't have to do anything um so like i've been trying to get into like selling like digital downloads on etsy but like i'm not like super creative with like making like stuff so i'm trying to like think of something oh my god take a shot every time i say like like <laughs> can i stop please so um i definitely want to start a second business like i said preferably something that i don't have to do anything um also i thought about getting into real estate i thought about that a lot earlier this year getting into real estate and having a rental property that's very profitable so i might do some research on that and think about it 
maybe like an Airbnb. I feel like that would be a lot easier than like having tenants. I don't know. You guys let me know. I'm I think Airbnb if I did go through the through the real estate way. So yeah. Um so that's it for me business wise. So next these are personal goals that I have for myself. The first one is I do want to take myself on self-care dates at least twice a week. Me personally, I love, 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 capital, capital L-O-V-E, going on dates by myself. Like, me getting in a wreck and totaling my car has been, like, the worst thing for myself because now... Luckily, me and my aunt work at the same place and we go into work at the same time. So, she takes me to work, but it sucks because, like, I'm never alone now. And, like, I love being alone. But, like, I know she'll always let me use her car. But, I don't know. Like, it's been really hard because I love having my alone time. Like, having my alone time, listening to my music in the car, driving somewhere, going shopping, going out to eat. Just doing stuff for me. I love it so much. So, I definitely want to take myself on self-care dates twice a week. And it doesn't have to be anything huge. Like, you don't have to, like, go to this nice extravagant restaurant. It could be something as small as, like, going to go get McDonald's and literally eating it in a parking lot. I've done that before. But still, you're having, like, time to yourself. And I do that. And then I take a book with me and I'll read while I eat. Or, like, you can journal while you eat or something. It's, like, so fun. And I've also been to Olive Garden by myself. Last Valentine's Day, I went to this nice restaurant by myself, this Brazilian steakhouse. And girl, it was so good. I would definitely do it again. So yeah, or it could just be going to your favorite store and like shopping or something. Like I go to Michael's all the time and buy stuff. And I go to Walmart all the time and just look around, honestly. Just as long as you, it's always important, I personally feel like, to have that alone time. Like... At least for me. I feel like it's always important to have your alone time. Because, like, I feel like I've had a lot to work on since I've been in my last relationship. Personally, I'm getting a little raw here. A little unfiltered, Shanice. But not, like, cussing or anything. But, like, opening up about my life right here. So, I feel like me personally in relationships, when I get in a relationship, like, I want to be in that person's skin. And I want us to be together all the time. Or like, well, this is how I used to be. I'm not like this anymore. But I wanted us to be together all the time. And I felt like if you didn't want to be with me, then you didn't like me. And like, I realize now that that is so toxic. And it kind of gives me the ick looking back at myself. It's like what the hell like Shanice uh girl are you okay <laughs> I think you need to go to therapy because like nobody can be together all the time at least I personally don't think so everybody needs their alone time to just like regroup and recenter themselves so now I found my love for being alone all the time well, not all the time, but most of the time, and I love it. I value my alone time, and I'm not willing to compromise that right now. So, yeah. I think that's all I have right now. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I would love to hear what y'all have planned for 2023. All of you guys' goals. So, yeah, of course, my freaking camera battery is dying right now. So, I'm going to hurry up and end this video so I can get it. So, yeah, hopefully you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, um, check out my socials. I'll have everything that I ever had in any of my videos linked down below. And, yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll be back next week definitely for cash stuff in. I just had stuff come up this week, and I have not been able to record my cash stuff in, and I'm so sorry. But next week, I will definitely be back with my cash stuff in, and I did get my nails done yesterday and these are my real nails and i don't know how i like them like i love the color but i don't know how i like like having my real nails because i'm so used to having acrylics like i genuinely don't know it's just weird so yeah 
I love you guys so much. I love you guys. I just, I'm gonna give you a virtual hug right now. Embrace the hug, embrace it all, embrace the hug. I love you guys so much. And like I said, leave me a like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, I'll be back at it with the next one. Love you guys so much. Bye guys.